Chris Chinock here at ITSIC 2014. I'm in the JVC booth. I'm here with Rod Sterling. You're the chief, what, what is your exact title? Chief? Engineer. Chief Engineer. Very simple. All right, cool. So we're going to talk about uh, the new uh, laser phosphor projectors that you're launching here at the show. This is the DL D I L A D or the DLA VS 2500 and 2300, correct? Now both of these have uh, the 0.7 inch 1920 by 1080 chip in it. The 2300 is that n uses that native resolution, but the 2500 uses the e shift technology to create uh, well, you call it an 8K projector or a 4K projector, um, but it really give it delivers an effective uh, pixel resolution of about 4.1 megapixels. So tell us exactly how eShift works. Well, the eShift is uh, basically a device that video multiplexes the image. So we uh, put up a 2K image, then we uh, turn that off, move the eShift element, and then put up another 2K image. So in the diagonal direction, uh, that gives us a precision of 4K. That's why we call it a 4K projector, because circles become round instead of oblong. Uh, or square like normal pixel does, and the pixel structure goes away. So um, we do this uh, back and forth at 120 hertz so that uh, the image is non-flicker and you s the apparent resolution is improved by uh, double because we have double the bandwidth going in. We see double on the screen. Right. And you can see this uh, with, with you put up uh, test patterns or letters or diagonals. You can see the improvement visually quite easily, uh, or even a star field, the runway lights that are quite pixelated become nice round circles. Nice. Okay. Now the other part that you're introducing here is this is now a laser phosphor based projector uh, and you use obviously uh, blue lasers to ignite a phosphor and let's let's take a look at those blue lasers. I see what you have here is this whole big laser block with eight lasers in it in a nice aluminum block it looks like so good good thermal cooling I presume. Yes, this is one of the two laser blocks that are in the system. We have 16 laser diodes. They're all in the deep blue, uh, with slightly different wavelengths so that they do some despeckling. Good. And uh, this then is shined in a phosphor. We well, it's actually split off into a uh, two segments. One blue light goes in for the blue channel, and then the other blue light goes to hit the phosphor wheel. This will rotates to cool it. And the laser light hits this, and it emits a yellow light. That's combined back with the blue light that we started with to give us a nice white light that then goes into our dichroic engine that we've had in the, all of our DILA engines. Uh, and then we're able to modulate that just like we have all of our other projectors. So we have the same high contrast, high dynamic range, and increased brightness because of the attendue of the laser system. You're, it's the same imaging block. You've replaced the, the lamp module, illumination module, with a laser phosphor module at this point. Now, I also noticed this is a, a, a transparent. Uh, uh, actually, it's a reflection. It looks transparent in that box. It fooled me. Really? Yeah, it's actually aluminum, polished aluminum. Oh, wow. And we use that to our advantage. Uh, if it was glass, that light would transition through, and we would not get the reflected light. Yeah. Uh, so the reflection actually gives us more light back. The aluminum is mounted to a ball bearing system so it keeps it cool and is fully motion certified for all of your motion based simulation application. Right, 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 right. And uh, this actually is kind of interesting. This almost lo looks fluorescent. The, that yes. color is just a. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, blue, that's why we call it blue essence. The blue goes in and the fluorescence comes out. So. Yeah. Okay, um, so how long are, are you expecting the, the lifetime for the, the, the solid state engine? Well, as with any solid state light source, it depends on how you drive it. If you drive it 100% drive, it'll last you about 20,000 hours. If you, because the brightness is where it is, for most applications you can start out about half brightness, uh, maybe a little more than half, and that will last you upwards of uh, 40,000 or more hours. Uh, without having to do anything to the uh, illumination or adjustment to the color system. Now you have a, a color management or a, a light management system as well so you can kind of keep the light level constant over the life period so you kind of I guess um, you underdrive it in the beginning and it slowly increase its, uh, the, the drive current because the efficiency will, will decrease over time. Is that about right? 
That's correct. And uh, we, we do have an RGB sensor, so we actually m monitor the color and maintain that as well. So uh, the intensity and color will maintain constant over the life. And as you say, it goes up till you reach the maximum current. Of course, it doesn't turn off then. It just, you can no longer maintain the set brightness, but it will continue. Uh, one other advantage we have here is we have 16 diodes in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, if one diode happens to fail, uh, we still have 15 working. So you do not lose your image or training session. You, you lose a little bit, and the current should regulate itself right back up, so you probably won't even notice it in the training session. That's, that's very smart, very smart indeed. Now, so and, and the dynamic uh, contrast on this, I think you don't use an iris, so if this is full on, on, off contrast, and you expect it, I think, at about 20,000 minimum to one. Yes, we guarantee 20,000 to one. Uh, our typical numbers we see average around 30,000, but uh, we guarantee minimum of 20. Okay. And this can be uh, driven with an NVG channel as well, because you have an IR uh, sensor uh, emitter in here as well? Uh, no, the phosphor actually emits the infrared as well. Oh. So we don't, uh, you don't have to pay extra to get your NVG uh, use out of it. Uh, just like with our lamp base, the spectra is almost the same level and performances we've had with the lamp. So anyone using the NVG with our lamp base can continue using the same with our uh, solid state system here. Okay. Uh, we did not need to add the extra LED illuminator or that, or uh, infrared illuminator to uh, get that. That's very clever. And you you can also rotate this. As you can see, you've, you've got it mounted here, and that image can now go around in almost any orientation or angle which is a big advantage because lamp-based projectors have that problem. Right, we can only rotate about the axis of the lamp, and that's, you either give up the pitch of the projector or the roll of it. Uh, with the solid state here, we've designed the cooling such that we can do pitch, yaw, roll at any angle uh, without any uh, problem with lifetime. Excellent. Available when? We go into production this month, and you can have them available next month, so place your order now. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Rod. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.